It's the battle of the bugs! But my bugs are mightier. And more plentiful. That arms race box that we're picking up, those are only useful if you've got drones. And you can't get drones if you've got sacrifice turned on. Because no drones will spawn in. If you want to see an awesome drone series, my engineer series... Is, I went crazy with the drones. That was the whole point of that series, was to go crazy with the drones. Uh, so if you want to see what a whole bunch of drones look like, that series might be your jam. In fact, I would say if this is your first Risk of Rain, like your first uh, exposure to it, just go ahead and watch all my Risk of Rain series. They're all pretty good in their own ways. Some of them are old, though. Some of them... You can kind of see the evolution of my YouTube channel a little bit if you go back and watch the oldest Risk of Rain series. Uh, we're done here, and I still see a one for like a split second. We'll see his majesty in the next level. That's what the Artifact of Origin does. Every ten minutes it makes the uh, like an Imp King spawn in, and we just call him his majesty. And we pay him his due in the... Ah, teleporter's right there. Beautiful. Uh, we pay him his due in the form of... Lots and lots of death. Overloading Cremator. That sounds terrifying. Whoa! Okay, there's two Cremators down there. One of them's got a hit list situation happening. We laser turbine him. Good. Okay, he's dead. I am still going to prioritize taking out Cremators. Because a bad Cremator strike, I think... Considering cremators can spawn multiples at a time now, I think a bad cremator strike, if like two complete cremator volleys hit me all at once, I still think that might be a bad situation for me. I don't think I'm that tanky yet. And I don't think I ever will be. Cremators are always, always, always going to be scary. Man, we got the Frost Relic doing work, we got the uh, Laser Turbines doing some work, we got the Gasoline doing some work. Life is good. Uh, I think the Laser Turbine fires off... Based on your when you push your attack button, like every time you launch a regular attack, there's a chance for it to go off. Which, so that, again, is another great one for Huntress, because she fires off the most attacks out of every character. You can almost, you can see that one for just a couple of frames! A couple of frames! A couple of frames can be life and death, as anybody who's played any kind of Street Fighter knows. My favorite Street Fighter character is T-Hawk! <laughs> we played actually quite a lot of Street Fighter 4, we streamed quite a lot of it. Uh, there's Somali Migma, and still see the one! Why? Why? Will I ever not be able to see that one? Look at this just torrent of boogers that I'm sending up there. But that's why I haven't jumped in on Street Fighter V yet, because ain't no T-Hawk yet in Street Fighter V. When they add T-Hawk, I'll be ready to go, probably. I don't want to be able to see that one. I don't want to be able to see that one. We're going to Risk of Rain, though, in the temple here. At the temple. I mean, we're firing them off constantly. It's essentially infinite boogers. We are the queen of the boogers. I declare it to be so. We're to the point where we just hold down the booger button. And get as many boogers as any po anybody could ever possibly want. And every few volleys we're sending out twice as many thanks to the rapid mitosis. We should see our hit list max out this level, which will be wonderful. Uh, I'm not good at Street Fighter. Let me say that. I'm not good at Street Fighter 4. I'm pretty terrible at it, actually. That beat, that toxic beast, he just spawned into death. <coughs> Excuse me. I've needed to have a drink of water for like four straight minutes now. I'm going to go over here and see what the toxic... Oh, he dropped a war banner. Yeah, where's my water at? Uh, I had to drink water very, very quickly. So I didn't want to pause the game. But how funny would it be if that had been the end of the run right there? Like, I was drinking water exactly at the time, like a bunch of these 
Temple Guardians threw their bombs at me or something. It'd have been pretty funny. It would have been a fitting way to end the series, I think. That would have been a good way for the final episode of Let's Break the Hunters to end. <laughs> so, I, other than Rogue Legacy, I don't think I've ever toyed around with putting another kind of roguelite on the channel because it's really, it's kind of hard to plan out a YouTube series for a game that doesn't have an ending, you know? That's, that can always be difficult, and Risk of Rain always has an ending, you know? Either, like, you, you can always just go to the boss and kill him. Every run is different, but every run is finite. Like, you will eventually reach your goals for the run and be done looping and go to the boss and kill him. Uh, and each run can feel self-contained. Each run feels like you get closure to it. Some game, like, even though Binding of Isaac has, like, a boss to kill at the end and credits to roll at the end, every run, like, the runs feel continuous. Like, Isaac is a game you play in sessions, not runs, if that makes any sense. I don't know that it would be a good fit for the YouTube channel just based on the content of Isaac. Like, 90% of that game is poop. Like, actual, literal poop. I don't mean like, oh, the game sucks. No, the game's fine. But it's literal, actual poop. In the entire game. All the time. And... It's not family-friendly, okay? Alright, we're going to the final level now. We're going to Risk of Rain. I pushed the button. It's too late to back out now. We're doing it. We're coming. We're, we're we're closing in on three hours played for this run, which is quite a long time to play Risk of Rain. Although not by a long shot the longest run I've done. I've had runs that stretched on to uh, five six hundred minutes. So there's our fireworks, which I promise would be super fun, and we get a key card out of it, which is nice. So that key card will let us unlock other stuff in the level. We'll do a full clear of the uh, the contact light. Which is the name of the ship here. Have all these bugs, for I am queen of the boogers. Okay, we better get some actual kills going so I get some frost relic happening. Oh, a second key card, nice. The more key cards we get, some of these rooms we'll be able to get into without using a key card just because we got so much uh, mobility and verticality, but some rooms we will not, so. I think we'll just hit all the doors and open all the doors up. There's another key card. Holy crap. That's super... And another key card. Holy crap. We get all the key cards. There they are. Yeah, let's go ahead and open up all the easy doors while we're launching bugs off. So, did this door open? Can we... Okay, let's kill these monsters real quick. While we try to grab this ladder. You know what? Nope, we'll go open around. This is fine. Perfectly fine. Now, every time we open up one of these little garbage cans, too, that spawn on this level, even though... Even though Sacrifice is on, garbage cans still do spawn on the final level, on the level that's actually called Risk of Rain. And every time we open a, a chest or garbage cans, we get a huge volley of fireworks. Now, actually positioning myself to open these chests is difficult because i got so many goat hooves happening. But we do want to launch all the fireworks off, because god, that's so satisfying, isn't it? Now, right, let's go open the rest of these doors over here. Because if we don't launch all the fireworks, what are we even doing with life? God, look how tanky the monsters are getting, too. I see nugs and stuff up here, so I guess we're going to go back up here first. Yeah, because that gold trash can up there will have another key card in it. Oh, or maybe not. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe the game's like, okay, don't get greedy. You've got so many key cards. I want to go around the outside and open that door up out there. Can we do that? It's so difficult to get down the ladder, because 
judging your horizontal position now is so hard, believe it or not. Oh, I can't get that enigma. It's stuck in the ceiling. That's too bad. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can go around this side and open up this last... this outside door. Oh, that's a ceiling there. Duh. That's why that wasn't working. Yeah. Oh, it just opens it. Okay. But there's items in here. So this is another level you can farm as much as you want, because enemies never stop spawning on in the contact light. Uh, we're going to open this door. We're going to go down here and open this door and get that gold trash can. Gold trash can might have more key cards. We'll just finish with a bunch of key cards. And I can't even see the trash can because there's so much crap on the screen. There we go. Oh, all those fireworks just hit that monster because it was literally on top of the trash can's hitbox. That was good. I've done a run before where we use command and we got over 500 fireworks at once. And... What I did was, we played the last level, and we didn't open any chests. We just kept getting fireworks and fireworks and fireworks over and over and over, because I wanted to see how crazy it would get. There's a frame rate counter on the bottom of the screen down there. Right now, it's been sitting, it sits pretty consistently at 60 for most of the time. We didn't just get it down to zero frames per second. It was multiple seconds per frame because there was 500 fireworks worth coming out of the screen at this, like, all at once, and the game could not handle it. It was the most spectacular crash. We sat there for 12 minutes waiting for the next frame to appear before the game finally crashed. That is, to this day, my crowning achievement in Risk of Rain. Not only getting the game to zero frames per second, getting it to like... <laughs> I don't even know what you call it at 12 minutes. Like, seven, how many frames per minute at that point? Or how many minutes per frame, I should say. Is there a way into this room without a key card? Because I can open up all those boxes. No, there's not. Okay. So we'll go, we'll use a key card to get into that room and get the Goss Cannon. Watch that health bar go away. All right, so we're gonna climb way up here. Actually, let's go ahead and start opening these doors here. So the storage room over here you can get into, but the armory room, hey, his majesty's here. What's good, his majesty? Oh, his small enigma, he dropped it in the ceiling. I can't get it. And that guardian heart, the heart and a uh, Go to if I could get though. Fireworks, do my bidding! Oh, that's spectacular. 28 frames, 26 frames per second we got down to. That's not bad for only a three hour breaking run. That's not bad at all. So here's another use item, because you can get use items out of these boxes always too. The disposal, mi we can just launch missiles forever. But the cooldown is longer than the bugs, and it's not as fun as the boogers either, so. Sticking with the bugs. That's my number one jam. Uh, sticking with the bugs. Okay, open that door now. Uh, let's go down here. We can't get in here without a key card. Let's open all the little first aid kits. Wow, look how big those healing orbs. Healing orbs are so big, they're just turning the screen green. Whoa, I'm stuck on something. I can't move. Oh my god, no, 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 don't. Wait, hold on. What's, what's killing me here? I literally could not move. I was stuck on something there. I'm not sure what the problem was. I mean, other than we've totally broken the game and it's probably getting a little glitchy at this point. So we'll take the first aid kit there. And open all these little medicine cabinets. 
The screen is green because the health packs coming out of those first aid kits that I keep opening on this bottom level of the infirmary here are literally bigger than the screen. That's what's happening there. And I think we can get into the cabin down there without having to use a key card. If we go this way... Oh, we can't go that way. I, I don't want to use a key card if I don't have to. There's nothing else you can do with them. It's just I like to finish the game with key cards in the inventory. But if we go around this way... And we go down and around here. That's the final boss room there. And then we go in here... Kill a bunch of these fools. Yeah. Now we're in the cabin. Take that thing with us. That just puts a box. Each one of these little rooms here. The cabin, the uh, armory, and the... Uh, the infirmary. Puts an item in the final boss room you can use on a cooldown. So that green thing there, that's the first aid kit we can hit to get a health recharge. The gauss cannon there you can hit to damage the boss. And then the box beneath us we can hit to get a use item. But we've already got the bugs, and that's all we need. In fact, I think we will destroy the last boss of the game with just bugs. That's the only thing we'll use. We will not hit our arrows at all. I'm going up here because there's one more barbed wire that I saw. That little, that white circle you see that glows in and out, it's like a grayish white. That's how far out my barbed wire is at this point. Awesome. So, let's go ahead and hit the controls here. A boom, And we'll just hold down the bugs. Alright, Providence. Bring it, sucker. Get booged on. So Providence has 310,000 hit points. And he's got a hit list marker on him. But he can't touch us because we're so fast. We got all the mobility and the bugs will hit him no matter where we go. And every time he teleports, they just home in on his new position. His teleports gain him nothing. This is why they call me Queen of the Booger People! Look how far apart those purple rings are, man! Those purple rings are supposed to be packed really close together. They just home in on your position as you retreat from them. But we're so fast! It's actually rare that I get a breaking run where I fight Providence, because usually my breaking runs... My breaking runs end with the game crashing. So... This is a new experience for me, and we got the hit list off of it. So here are the worms. Oh, the worms are not going to last very long at all. The bugs are just taking them out. Here, step into my charge field generator. We'll get some damage in that way, too. Oh, are you enjoying that uh, toxic centipede I put on you there? Good times, buddy. So now Providence is going to spawn in two of his robot buddies. And eventually he's going to spawn in Dark Providence, which is like the blighted version of Providence. But we're so fast. Ain't nothing can touch us. He's like, where are all these boogers coming from? And I'm like, my face? Sorry, I have a little bit of a cold. I had the sniffles, and I'm all out of Kleenex. I actually kind of have had the sniffles, because Peanut was really sick last week, which got me really sick this week. But the sickness, like, hasn't set in yet all the way. Like, I just, I feel like I'm on the verge of being sick. And that's almost worse than just being sick, you know? Because if you're sick, you're at least like, okay, I'll either die or it'll pass. Now I'm like covered in dread, like, oh, I'm getting, like, getting sick is worse than being sick. A lot of, as long as you're talking about like a regular illness and not like, like the cancer, diabetes, AIDS, that would be way worse. So Providence is dead, and we'll set off one more volley of fireworks from the final cockpit of the game. And that was Risk of Rain Huntress, Queen of the Boogers. And so she left her soul still remaining on the planet with the many hundreds of thousands of boogers that she left behind. Guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this Risk of Rain series. It was a little longer than most of my other Risk of Rain series, but it's also been a while since I've done a Risk of Rain series, so maybe it balances out. Let me know in the comments what you think about this idea of if and when I get a PS4 of doing a longer, more involved Risk of Rain series where I unlock all the stuff. If that's something people want to see, I'll be more inclined to do it. But if people are like, nah, Risk of Rain's dumb, then I probably won't do it. That's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Click all the buttons down there that help me, and I will see you in the next Let's Play. 29 million.
38,818 total points. <laughs> Shoutouts to Sarutka for sponsoring this video, and to everybody who helps make my channel possible by supporting me on Patreon.